Welcome back to another App Game Kit tutorial. Again, we're looking at 3D, and this demo is just showing you how to load in a 3D object and get it displayed. It's quite a nice little demo. Here's the main loop, and the first things that are happening is we've got some hash insert commands here, and they're going to load up uh, setupscreen.hc, which is this file here, and plane underscore floor dot agc which is this one here so the setup one just simply sets up the window the resolution and some other options like the font system plane floor dot agc sort of follows on from our previous example and creates a flat plane a big green floor so if you go back to the previous example if you want to know how to do that so that source code for those two files gets inserted there at the very start and that's what will be called when the program first runs. Then we come to loading 3D objects. We've got hash insert churches.agc and hash insert trees.agc. So what's inside churches? Click here. We've got some code here that loads an image. Okay, it's loading a PNG file called chapel underscore d.png and it loads an object um, called chapel.obj that's a 3D object. Uh, both files are in the models folder. If I just go into, go into File Explorer, you can see this is a project and in the media we've got models, textures and bind code. Go into the model section, you've got chapel underscore d dot png, that's the texture that's going to be applied to this object and then you've got chapel dot obj. So those two files are loaded at this point here. So the next command is set object image 1 comma 1 comma 0 and that essentially just means that this image here gets applied to this 3D object and then it's positioned on screen. There's some more code here but we'll come back to that. So what does the tree program do? Uh, the tree one is going to load in a texture called tree02 underscore d underscore result underscore mobile png uh, not the name I gave it and then it's going to go into a loop. We're just having a zero to zero, so it's going to do one iteration of this loop. It's using an array to store uh, a number of trees. It loads an object called trees02.x and stores the ID of that object into the array. Then it positions it at a random position and sets the object based on this load image here. So let's just run. Um, if we go back to the code. We've got a do loop here and we've got some cool camera code that makes the camera float around and you can view what's loaded in. So here is the church and the tree. Now the tree isn't displaying properly, it's got some alpha blending issues and we can fix that quite easily. So where there's black uh, we should be able to see through that part of the object. So we'll quit We'll go back to the trees section and this command here has been rammed out. Set object alpha mask. That will allow for transparency to work. So again if we run it again, now the tree is displaying properly. You can see. Okay, uh, we want a few more trees than that, so we're going to do zero to three. So that's going to be four trees. Starting don't ask me why. But you know, a lot of programmers like to start from zero rather than to, we get taught to count from one. Well, in programming, we tend to count from zero because we can. So zero to three will be four items. Run again. Now we've got four trees. So we've got the same object being used multiple times. Let's go to the church section, and we've got some code rammed out here. I'm going to take that out. So in this first iteration we're loading it into object 1 and image 1. In this part of the code we're loading an image and we're storing the ID of the image in church texture and we're loading the object of the chapel and we're storing the ID of that into church object. Then we're applying the image to the object and we're positioning that particular object. In this portion of the code we're using a command called clone object. We're going to create object number 2 and copy object 1. So 2 is an exact copy of 1. Saves you loading in over and over again. And then we're positioning it. And we do the same again from this object 
into a new one called Church Clone. So if we run the demo, we've now got four churches set up in different ways, but they're all the same object, they've just been loaded differently or cloned. So have a play around with those commands, and also have a play around with this code. It's using a timer to set the X, Y, Z of the camera position, and then it's looking at an object, object number one. So if we just change, say for example, um, this value here to a silly value, like 99, you get some pretty cool effects, but yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> Have a play with that. If you can find some OBJ files or some textures, load in different objects, position them, texture them, clone them, and have a good play with that part of the 3D command set. Okay, um, some good news as well. And before Christmas, we're releasing a brand new version of Game Kit with some new commands, some new features, so look out for that. Okay, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.